by ActiveView and the RT ActiveView web part. Now this is a discussion that has the following objectives. Uh, by the end of this, we'd like you to be able to use and configure Pi ActiveView, insert an ActiveView, an RT ActiveView web part into your web part page, and basically uh, just get familiar with deploying ActiveView. So let's discuss what is Pi ActiveView. Well, it is an ActiveX control that shows uh, the full functionality of process book and that includes all the things that you really kind of give up when you move from for example a process book display into RT web parts that would be things like VBA the SQC charts uh, batch view applications now let me qualify what I'm saying here ActiveView is an ActiveX control that implements the full set of features this is a set of features that are not yet implemented in RT web parts Okay, so why are we discussing it now? Well, because ActiveView can be contained within an RT web parts display through something called the RT ActiveView web part. So ActiveView is itself an ActiveX control. The RT ActiveView web part is a web part that will contain that. So ActiveView has some features that you will not find in a traditional RT web parts uh, display, you know, like a, an RT trend and an RT graphic, for example. So there are certain features that you can only implement through an ActiveView display, a full PDI file implemented or hosted through the ActiveView ActiveX control, and all of that hosted within the RT ActiveView web part. And that would, again, namely, when you have uh, Visual Basic for Applications or statistical quality control charts or things like that that you'd like to implement within a web page. Okay. So all the content is going to remain in the PDI file. It is not, it's unlike our RT graphic web part in that, you know, the RT graphic we export to an SVG format. Well, in this case, we stay in the native PDI format for the display. Now it does require direct access to the Pi server via port 5450. And for that reason, it's better suited in an intranet environment than an internet environment. See, this direct access to port 5450, very few system administrators or network administrators would allow that port to be open onto the internet. Although you may have, uh, you may easily be able to open that port among all the uh, the different users within your local area network, within your intranet. So if I can uh, paraphrase or just summarize, uh, RT ActiveView is for those people who have some rich displays that make use of some advanced features. These are rich process book displays that use VBA or SQC charts or batch view applications that simply cannot be exported and then uh, to SVG and then used as the RT, in the RT graphic web part. So instead, we install ActiveView the ActiveX control on each client computer that's going to use it and then we make use of the RT ActiveView web part in order to actually display that within a web part page. Now we'll come back to that install uh, what I just mentioned a second ago installing in just a, a few in a few videos. Installing is one of the things installing ActiveView on each of the machines that's going to use this is probably one of the reasons that uh, we recommend doing this in an intranet environment. See that installation can be large. It's not something that it's certainly not a thin client like a traditional web browser. So but in in a excuse me, in return of course for this rich install, this large install of this ActiveView ActiveX control, you get the full features that you are used to in Process Book. But again it comes at the cost of a an install that can be quite large and also may require privileges that the typical user doesn't have. So let's take a look briefly at how this kind of how the data kind of flows through here. Imagine we've got a Pi server over here, regular Pi server. You need a web server for this, so you're going to have some web server, uh, probably your IIS machine for RT web parts, and then you're going to have a client. Now, what happens when the client first browses to the website is the client receives from the web server this HTM file. The HTML, uh, the HTM file should have some embedded code that says there's an ActiveX control in here uh, called ActiveView. And so if ActiveView is installed locally on this machine, we will invoke that uh, ActiveX control 
and start making use of it within that web page. So at that point, also on that web server, or it could actually be on a third server, uh, the display that is hosted by the ActiveView control will be downloaded to the local client. Now once the display has launched and is up and running on this machine, then it will initiate the typical connection that you would see between a rich client like ProcessBook or PyDataLink. Now that's a connection that requires this TCPIP port, TCP port 5450 to be open. And that's why, you know, it's the one of the big distinguishing characteristics of this versus RT Web Parts. If you were a client over here using RT Web Parts, you would get your data directly without with through port 80 without the need for port 5450 to be open. But again, that's the trade-off in having this rich uh, client that uh, can do all the things of a traditional process book display.